Okay, our next topic is going to be a complex pole. So complex pole is a connection of six or more edges forming or connecting into one point. So basically all of these edges are sharing one point. So our general connection, it's going to be one point surrounded by four edges. And this is what we're going to try and achieve most of the time. But in some situations, we also will have something like this. And the reason we are covering it, because mainly we are talking about subdivision modeling and so on, is that curved surfaces do not like this connection. So what is happening here is that one point really has a lot of tension. Just think of it as a hotspot. So basically, if I now select this and that this is like our heat center. So basically, this is... Uh, our geometry giving us instructions that we need to focus on this area because what happens is that if it would be on a curved surface or any surface that deforms we would see this type of deformation here so basically what is happening is that one side oops one side one area is basically evened out with a nice edge flow and then it suddenly becomes interrupted here. And then we are left off with this large area with no loop right here in the middle. Instead, this loop that should go here, it's redirected into this direction here up. So we are now left with an empty area instead of nice and even out area. And this is now causing this deformation that you see in shading right here. So let me just again go a couple of steps back so we can talk about it a bit more. All right, so now what we learned is that basically complex pull will give a lot of tension on one single point. It will also break the flow and sort of bring imbalance into your geometry. So this is just a thing to keep in mind because it will depend on a situation because in some situation, if the surface is flat, you might go away with it. But if the surface is curved, then probably we'll need to think about another solutions except maybe uh, going into a complex pole situation. So complex pole can be seen a bit better on a sphere where you have this situation. So again, a lot of edges are forming into one single point, creating a lot of tension. So you can see how all these points or edges are trying to even themselves out, but only one point is holding them. So then you see this deformation right here. So in some situations, like for example here, this is a fairly flat surface. So this is a flat surface, it's not nowhere near a curve. What we can do is we can simply add supportive edges. So basically supportive edges will just release some of that tension and you see that the supportive edge basically release the tension from this one because the next edge is right here. So they need to share the distance. But if we reduce the distance with the edge, then the tension becomes lower. So now we need to do the same thing on the other side and just easiest it's going to be to add a chamfer and then we add the supportive edges on both sides, just releasing that tension a bit. And then when we subdivide it, we should get cleaner result. So this is just one way how to, let's say, deal with the tension in this situation. Now, if we would like to avoid complex pole entirely, then we would need to do this approach. Basically, what we would need to do is just remove all the points and connect them in this way so that we get all quads. But even here, when we subdivide it, we will still get similar problems because this point will have no connection and it will just lie on the surface. So here is our edge and here it will not be connected technically to this surface. So again, what we can do, same as before, just add that supportive edges to release some of that tension within and contain it within this area. And then we get this as a result. So this is just a small topic that I wanted to cover because it might be important for the future. So in case we, let's say, run out of, uh, run into a situation where we need to deal with a complex pull on a situation, uh, on a curve, then we know what's it causing and how we can avoid it. All right, so let's close this topic. Thank you for watching and let's move on to the next video.